I built this AI account and app using just Lovable and NA10. All the user has to do is ask it a question and select his country. Then the app will immediately start searching for official government websites that have the answer to the user's question. After that, it will scrape these websites, extracting all the information that is inside them, format the proper response and send it back in a lovable interface via webhook, making it faster and more accurate than the world's best accountants. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can build this app step by step and also how you can sell it to accounting firms for thousands of dollars each. So if that sounds interesting, let's get started. Now, this is how the app is going to work. First, we're going to build a front-end interface with an app like Lovable, where we will be able to input the user's question and also the country that he's on. Then we're going to take this information and run it through an LM model, which is going to go and find the relevant government websites that are likely to give the answer to our question. Then we're going to use a tool which is called Browser Act to scrape these websites and retrieve all the relevant information that is inside them. And then finally, we're going to use an LM model like ChatGPT to take the information that Browser Act gave us, format the proper response, which we're then going to send back in our lovable interface. So now that you understand how the backend of the app is going to work, let's actually start building it. Now, the first thing that we have to do is to build the front-end interface of our app which we're going to do by using lovable.dev. And specifically, I will come over here in the text box and type, hey, create me a front-end interface for an AI accounting assistant app. I want to be able to insert the question that I have and in another field underneath where I can pick the country that I want. Then the app is going to analyze this data in the backend with an NN. So don't actually create any backend functions for this app, just build a nice looking front-end UI. I want it to look modern with nice sharp colors similar to this. And now what I'm going to do is I will go over to Google and search for nice looking UI, simply find one that I like, let's say I really like this one for example, and then I'll simply come over here and download it and come back over to Lovable, click on Attach, upload the interface that we just downloaded, and then I will come over here and click on Enter. So now Lovable has a visual example of exactly how we want the app to look like, making it way more likely to give us a good end result. But while Lovable is building a front-end interface, let's go over to NNN and start building the backend. All right, so I went over to NNN, and the first thing that we have to do, as you can see over here, is to start our workflow with a webhook. So to do that, I will simply come over here in the plus icon, and I'm going to search for a webhook node. And the reason we're using a webhook is because that is how we're going to be able to connect a front-end interface that we're currently building with Lovable to the backend automation that we're going to build over in NNN. And all we have to change from these settings is this HTTP method because we need to change it from care over to post. Since that is the type of request we're gonna be sending over to Lovable in order for us to be able to send and receive data. So now all we have to do is to simply come over here and click on top of this URL in order for us to copy it in a clipboard. And then we need to go back over to Lovable where as you can see it also finished creating the front-end interface for app, which I do got to admit does look very good. And what we need to do now is to simply come over here in the Ask Lovable tab and saying something like, every time I click on analyze question, send all the data over to this web URL. And then simply pasting the web URL you just copied and click on enter. So now Lovable is going to go take this web URL and embed it inside our app. So every time we come over here and we ask a question and also select a country, this information gets sent back over in our NNN interface. And boom, Lovable just finished embedding a webhook inside our app. So now all we have to do is to simply come over here and ask our question. So let's say, for example, our question is when were the taxes with you for this year? All we would have to do is simply come over here and ask when will my taxes be due for the year of 2025? And then simply come over here and select our country, which let's say for this example is the United States. Now, all we would have to do is come back over to NNN and make sure our webhook is listening and is expecting to receive data and then come back over to Lovable and click on analyze question. And boom, as you can see, our query was successfully submitted. And if we come back over to NNN, we can see that we do in fact have an output over here, which means that we successfully connected Lovable to NA10. And if I scroll all the way down here, we can see the exact question that we asked it and also the exact country that we are on. So now we can simply come and close this off and let me bring this down over here. And what we need to do next is to find the government website that has the answer 
to our question. And how we're gonna be able to do that is by coming over here sensing for an LLM chain. And now the first thing that we have to do is to come over here and change the source from prompt from connect to chat trigger node to define below. And what we need to do is to open this up and basically tell our LLM model exactly what we want it to do, which in our case is to go and find the government website that has the answer to our question. So this is the exact prompt that we're going to use. First, I'm saying this is my question. And then what I'm going to do is I'll scroll all the way down here to where we have the question. The user asked, simply take it, drag and drop it over here. And I say it says the web for official government sources or websites that contain the answer to this question that the user asked. And then I say return those websites as your answer. Make sure you only give official government websites. And then I say the government websites needs to be from this country. What I'm going to do right now is I will take in the counter schema and drag and drop it over here. And then I just say give me one website. And I will also say make sure you only output me the website URL and nothing more. And now we can come and close this off. And what we need to do next is to come over here give it access to an LLM model. Now for this example I will actually choose to go with OpenAI. So make sure you come over here and you select your OpenAI credentials. And then for the model what you need to do and this is actually super important guys is you need to come over here and use a sets based model because you want this model to be able to actually go and look in the web in order for it to find you an up to date government link. Because if you do not use a sets model you will see that the links you're going to get are going to be outdated and they basically won't even exist. That's why it's super important to use a sets based model. Now you can obviously select any sets based model you want. I will personally choose to go with GPT-5 sets. And then we can come close this off and execute the step. And boom, as you can see, this just finished executing. So now if I open this up, we can see that we do in fact have an official government website over here. Which means that this LLM chain did exactly what we wanted. And now what we have to do is to go and scrape these websites. And we're going to do that by using this tool over here which is called Browser Act. Which you can actually use inside the NetN by simply coming over here and searching for Browser Act. And then you will be able to see it over here. Now I do want to preface this. This is a community node. Which means that you will need to go inside your NetN admin panel and enable the community nodes if you haven't done it yet. And then you will see a button over here where it says install. So simply click on it and then you will be able to use it just like I am right now. So then... All you have to do is simply come over here and select run a workflow. And now all of these options pop up. But the first thing that we have to do is to come over here and select a browser at credentials. Now if you do not have credentials, simply come over here click on create new credentials. And you need to come over here and input your browser act API key. Which you can find by going over to browser.com which I will leave a link for in the description below and then signing up for a completely free account and getting 500 credits that you can use. And why I really like Browser Act is first of all, they have access to a bunch of different scrapers and you will see some of them in a bit, but they also offer you free credits when you log in every day, which is a super useful feature and actually does make it the most affordable scraper on the market. That's why I would strongly advise you to use this one in all of your workflows. So make sure you simply come over here and you click on start free trial and create an account just like as I have done over here and then simply come and click on launch which is going to take you inside browser acts interface. Now as you can see they have access to a bunch of different scrapers. A Google Maps scraper, an Amazon bestseller scraper, a Billboard Hot 100 list scraper and a bunch of others. For which I have actually done a separate video which I'm going to put somewhere around here. So make sure you go and watch it if you want to learn more information. But for this video all we have to do is to come over here and click on integrations and API. And then you will be brought over here where you simply need to come over here and click on API keys. And then come over here and click on create new API key. And boom, this is your brand new API key. So all you have to do is to come over here and copy it and click on confirm. And then simply come back over to NDN, paste it in over here and click on save. And boom, as you can see our credentials were successfully created. Which means that we can come and select them from over here. Then for the resource we'll leave this on workflow. Operation we'll leave this on run a workflow. And then for the search workflows from we will leave this on template marketplace. Since we want to use one of browser acts native templates and then over here for the workflow as you can see they have a bunch of different templates that we can use but for this example the one that we need to use is called website data scrape so make sure you actually go and select that one and then in the field to match on simply select website link and this option is going to pop up where all you need to do is simply come over here taking the schema that includes the url that we just found and drag and drop it over here. And now we're basically done configuring the browser act node. So all we have to do is to come over here and execute the step. And boom, as you can see, browser act just finished executing. And over here we have a string which basically includes 
everything that is scraped from the IRS website. And now what we need to do is to basically give all this information into a LLM auto so you can format it as a human response. So how we're gonna do that is by coming over here and searching for OpenAI and then we need to come over here and select message and model. Now the first thing that we have to do is to come over here and select our OpenAI credentials. Then for the model, you can select any model that you want. I will personally choose to go with GPT-4 for this one. And then over here in the prompt, what we need to do is to turn this into an expression and open this up and say something like, take this big block of text and format it in a human response form that gives an answer to this question and then what we need to do is to say this is the question and scroll all the way down here in a webhook to where we have the exact question and simply drag and drop it over here so our LLM model has access to that and then we will also say this is the block of text what we're going to do now is open up the browser act node and we will come over here to where we have that specific block of text which is basically all the information that was inside the website that was just scraped and take it and drag and drop it over here and then what I'm also going to say is make sure the response is no more than 50 words since we don't want a super long response because the user is not going to want to read it. So now I will simply come close this off and this time we actually come over here and we execute this node. And boom, as you can see, this data executes successfully. And if I open this up, we have a very concise response over here that says our taxes for the year 2025 will be due on April 15, 2026, which is exactly what we wanted. So now all we have to do is to return it back in our lovable interface, which as you can see from over here, we're going to do by using a respond to webhook node. So to do that, we we'll simply come over here, click on the plus icon, and we're going to search for the respond to webhook node. We will leave this on first incoming item, but what we need to do is to close this off and come back over here in our initial webhook, open this up, and make sure we change the respond parameter from immediately to using a respond to webhook node, because if we do not make this change, the respond to webhook node is not going to work. And also, before I come over here and execute this respond to webhook node, I need to come back over in my lovable interface and tell it that it needs to expect to receive a response from the webhook and also that it needs to display it in this interface. So to do that, I will come over here and say, make sure you expect to receive a response from that webhook URL and you create a section where you can display it in this interface. And then I will simply come over here and click on enter. So now lovable is going to go and make that change for us. And boom, lovable just finished making the change which means that I can finally come back into our and interface and execute the respond webhook node. And boom, as you can see, just finished executing. And if I come back over in our lovable interface, we can see the response being displayed over here, which is exactly what we wanted. And I think you can see how useful an app like this can be, since it basically does the job of an accountant just way better and way faster. Now, if you want access to the JSON file for this full automation, Along with all the lovable prompts that I use to build this very nice looking front end interface, you can click the link in the description below and join the school community where I upload all of my assets. Now that I showed you how you can build a custom app like this, it's time that I also show you how I would personally go about selling it to accountants for thousands of dollars. And how I would do this is I would go over to Apollo which is a massive lead database that includes leads for many different industries. Then I would come over here in the search for people tab and I will simply search for accountants, which would give me a list of many different accountants. Now I would also use some of Apollo's filters and I would personally choose to do only verified emails. Then for the job titles, I would only do job titles that are higher up in the companies. So CEOs, CFOs, marketing managers, basically people that do have decision making power in their companies. Then for the company size, I would go anywhere from 1 to 200 people since if the organization is bigger than this, they tend to want to work with more established brands and then less likely to want to work with you. And I would also filter for location and I would select only Western countries like United States, Sweden, Germany, United Kingdom, etc, etc. Then once I had my list, I would basically come over here and copy this Apollo URL. And then I would go over in a platform like Ample Leads. I would simply paste in my Apollo URL over here. Then I would specify how many leads I would want. Let's say, for example, I wanted 3000. Then I would simply give a name to this file. Let's say accountant. And then I would come over here and click on start scraping. And after Ample Leads finished scraping all these leads, it would give me a file just like this one, where I could come over here and simply download it as a CSV file. And then what I would do with these leads is I would go over to instantly and set up a cold email campaign. Specifically, I would come and upload them over here in the update section. Then I would write some email sequences. Then I would select all the settings of my campaign and then I would simply set it to go live. So instantly you then go and reach out to all these people 
on my behalf basically pitching them the app that we built in this video now if that sounds complicated and you want one-to-one -to -one guidance with me you can click the top link in my description and join my paid school community where you will get access to me so you can ask me any question and let me help you get your first high paying AI and automation customer, just like I have already helped many people that are inside my community. So if that's something that you would be interested in, make sure you click the link in my description and you come and check out my paid school community. Also, YouTube thinks you're going to enjoy this video, in which I show you how I built an AI legal assistant app. So make sure you go and watch that next, and I will see you over there.